You know, back when I was learning to fly, I thought that anyone who could fly instruments must be a super pilot. In fact, I remember finding out that my instructor was also an instrument instructor, and it made me look at him with a whole new sense of respect. Well, what I didn't understand at the time was how simple instrument flying actually is. You know, I think sometimes instrument pilots enjoy talking in a jargon that other pilots can't understand just to make it all seem difficult. Well, the truth is that instrument flying is actually very simple. There are only two things you really have to control when you fly instruments, and those two things are heading and altitude. That's all there is to it, folks. Keep these two things under control, and you've got it nailed. Now, it is true that sometimes you have to concern yourself with one other thing, and that is airspeed. And that's really only a part-time job, because in most cases, airspeed takes care of itself. For instance, in cruise, you set the power, and then the airspeed is just whatever you get. Now, everything else you learn about instrument flying is just an elaboration of keeping these two things, and sometimes a third, under control. Now, controlling heading and altitude is actually even easier than it sounds. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're flying VFR, and you've got yourself on the heading and altitude you want. Now, you can spend a lot of time looking outside the window with only an occasional glance at the heading indicator and the altimeter, and everything will be okay. The reason is you're actually controlling the airplane by looking out the window and keeping the wings level and the nose at the same pitch attitude. In other words, when you fly VFR, you keep the airplane under control most of the time by controlling the attitude of the airplane. Now here is the good news. That is exactly the way you control an airplane on instruments. And you have an instrument in the panel that makes it all easy, and that is the attitude indicator. Now the attitude indicator gives you the same information about the airplane that you'd get by looking out the window. Its role is to replace the horizon when you can't see it. That's why it's sometimes called the artificial horizon. The attitude indicator tells you when you are nose up or nose down or when the wings aren't level. So by looking at this one instrument, you can do a pretty doggone good job of controlling the airplane when you're on instruments. So keeping the airplane under control on instruments begins with the attitude indicator. Now, just like when you're flying VFR, all you have to do is maintain the attitude of the aircraft and occasionally check out your heading indicator and altimeter to make sure things are going okay. For flying straight and level on a given heading and altitude, you just keep the wings level and the pitch the same. Then you glance at the heading indicator to make sure that the heading is the same, then back to the attitude.